How's it going? Fox back again for sound design tutorials. Um, I've got a new little toy. It's uh, an outboard effects unit. It's a Lexicon MX200 dual reverb effects processor. Um, this tutorial is just going to show you how you can set up an external uh, audio effect inside Ableton on a send. I mean, I'll show you how to put it on a return track. Sorry, um, you can drag and drop it straight onto a track if you like. Uh, before we get started, I'll just say to do this, you are going to need an audio interface with a pair of inputs and an extra pair of outputs so that you can send audio from Ableton to your sound card, to your sound card, to your effects unit, and then from your effects unit back into the sound card. Um, I've just bought a new interface as well. I've bought a Scala 18i20. I'll show you that. It's not sat where it should be at the minute because I'm about ready to move house. So that's the 18i20. It's got 18 inputs and 20 outputs. Perfect for something like this. And that's the Lexicon MX200. It's a dual channel reverb with a load of other effects and stuff. Um, I really wanted to get some outboard effects. I, th I think you struggle to get a really good reverb on a plug-in and this cost me 55 quid I do believe off eBay cheaper than any uh, VST plug-in that you're gonna buy and it's 100 times better anyway I digress so yeah how would you do this so yeah first of all inside Ableton you need to go to preferences you need to go to your hardware setup and the input configuration you need to make sure that the pair of stereo inputs that you're gonna be bringing the audio back from the uh, effects unit is turned on. Um, mine is 5 and 6. I always turn them all on. Same for the outputs. Turn all them on. That means when you uh, do anything inside Ableton, those channels are going to be available for you to send audio to your sound card and back from your sound card. So once you've realised that, and once you once you've got you've bought a sound card <laughs> or you've already got a sound card with available channels. You need to use this thing. It's called an external audio edit audio effect. It is exactly what it says. So I've got a B return here ready to go. So I'm going to drop this on there. External audio effect. So as I say, once you've gone in Ableton, you've set you've um, opened up the channels if you like on your sound card so that it can receive and send audio. You actually have to physically plug your pair of stereo outputs from your sound card into your audio effect and then back out of your audio effect into your sound card. Doesn't matter which channel you use as long as they're highlighted inside Ableton. Um, make a note of which ones they are. For this purpose I'll use channel 5 and 6 as the output on my Scala and 5 and 6 as the input on my Scala. So audio 2. This is the audio coming from my door to my sound card and out of the stereo pair 5 and 6. And then that audio from 5 and 6 is going to go to my effects unit get mangled by the effects inside and then it comes out of the outputs sent back into my sound card through inputs 5 and 6 um, I always try and do them the same so I know it's easier to work it out that way if I've got the virus going in and coming back out or something like that I always use the same inputs so 5 and 6 going out of my Scarlet, 5 and 6 coming into my Scarlet and now my uh, MX200 so I'm going to rename this MX200. Um, we're lucky with using Ableton, being an Ableton user. I say everything's done for you. This external effect thing is absolutely brilliant. So now this is on a send. So uh, what have I got on it? Um, let's just put a vocal plate on there, which it is. Let's turn up the send. So I've got it on send B. This is just a sound I quickly made with a virus well I didn't even make it I just knitted it and made sure it was just one oscillator so it was really nice and clean and pure so I'm gonna bring in, the, bring in some send on the reverb you're gonna see the input gain coming into it this is the audio from the sound card and this is the audio going back out so you know that something's happening
absolutely beautiful machine i would recommend uh this machine certainly to anybody i know there's a lot more advanced models than this there's the mx300 and the mx400 i believe but listen to that for a reverb <laughs> It's quite understated. It's, it's hard to explain what this machine is. I mean, some of the effects are really prominent. The chorus and the flanger are excellent. I'll show you. I'll do a little video on that later on. But yeah, it's as simple as that. Um, once you've got your hardware turned on and plugged into your sound card and the channels are freed up, it is as easy as dragging that onto a send. I mean, I'll just drag this straight onto the track so you can hear what it does as well. So exactly the same thing, I just dragged it as an external audio effect after the audio coming from the virus. Let's show this chorus quickly, I'll go over this on another video, but this is the chorus. There you go, easy peasy, how to use an external uh, effects processor inside Ableton. Uh, as I said before, you must have a sound card with available inputs and outputs to do this. You must make sure they are turned on in the preferences section so that they are available to Ableton to do this. Yeah, thanks for watching as always. Uh, I'll be doing a demo of the MX200 in a bit. Uh, stay tuned, cheers.